Hello, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. Today is July 26th, 2022. Today, I'm going to drive around the town I live in and look for statues and icons that we have in this little town of Willits, California. I was not aware of some of these icons and statues until I googled Willits. Some of them you may recognize and others will be a surprise. So come on along and watch for statues and icons of Willits. Thanks for watching. As you drive south on Highway 101 outside of Willits, you'll see the pioneer statues done by Mark Walker, the folk artist that lived in Willits. They are of men and women and oxen and cart and other animals, possibly pioneer vignettes, all painted colorfully over concrete in addition to whimsical figures and tools. Mark Walker also used his art to tell the story of Mendocino County's people and their ways of life. Now I've driven back into town and come into the parking lot by the park and across the street from the Willits Frontier Days Fairgrounds. And just east of it is the Roots of Motive Power. Roots of Motive Power was organized in 1982 and is all volunteer. They restore and preserve steam and diesel engines that were used in the California logging industry. It is part of the Mendocino County Museum. They have steam engines and diesel engines on display and they even have a track that they will give rides on the steam engines during their open house and other events. This is the barn where a lot of the engines are stored and um, it is all part of the Mendocino County Museum. On the property near the barn, there are many other types of steam and diesel engines. Um, that tall one is called a donkey and was used in pulling logs. Now I'm walking across the street to the fairgrounds, which is where the Willits Frontier Days is held. It's the longest running rodeo in California. Began in 1926 as a fundraiser for the much needed hospital. Willits Muffler Man stands at the fairgrounds. They named him Cowboy Willie in 2013. Now I'm driving west on Commercial Street. The building to the right was the Mendocino County Museum and then the library. We are heading to the railroad tracks to see the skunk train. The skunk train in Willits is the eastern terminus of the California Western Railroad, otherwise known as the skunk train running through the coast redwood forest to coastal Fort Bragg. The old Redwood Willits Depot was built in 1915 by the Northwest Pacific Railroad, a subsidiary of the Southern Pacific. The nickname Skunk originated in 1925 when motor cars were introduced, today sometimes referred to as rail buses or rail cruisers. These single unit self-propelled motor cars and gasoline-powered engines for power and pot belly stoves burning the crude oil to keep the passengers warm. 
here is the depot and it celebrated 125 years a couple of years ago. It's closed today so I can't take you inside. Across the street is a train graveyard and this is the main engine of the skunk train. As I walk along the side of the engine, you can see that it's a pretty good size. And then it carries at least one passenger car, and I have seen up to three passenger cars during the busy times of the year. This is engine 696 of the California Western Railroad. You can ride the skunk train from Willits to halfway to Fort Bragg. A number of years ago a tunnel collapsed and they have not repaired it yet so there are no rides from Willits all the way to Fort Bragg. South of town is the new Frank Howard Memorial Hospital. It is managed by the Adventist Health Organization and the main uh, statue here is the statue of Seabiscuit with Dr. Babcock and Frank Howard Sr. If you have read the book about Seabiscuit or seen the movie, you know that Frank Jr. was killed in an auto accident and could not be saved because there was no hospital in the area. The Frontier Days was one of the first fundraisers to raise money for the hospital. The old hospital building is in the middle of Willits. This is the new hospital building that was opened in 2015. Now we're headed north again to a rather humorous statue because we have a Lumberjacks restaurant. We have a statue of Paul Bunyan the Lumberjack. Now I'm continuing to drive north to the center of town where you will see the Willits Arch. This arch was originally in Reno and was dismantled when they expanded their road and Willits was able to acquire it. One side it says Willits Gateway to the Redwoods and the other side says Willits Heart of Mendocino County. It is one of the most iconic symbols of Willits that we have. I hope you liked this little video of the statues and icons of Willits, California. Many people go around Willits on the bypass, but I encourage you to come through Willits if you ever have a chance to come this way. It's the gateway to the Redwoods and the heart of Mendocino County. Just on the main street, which is still 101, you will see the Lumberjack and you'll see the Arch. And just off that street, if you turn right on Commercial Street, you'll see the fairgrounds, the rodeo grounds, the routes. Oh, you'll see the skunk train on Commercial Street. And then if you do, do take a trip through past the hospital, you'll see the statue of Seabiscuit. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, subscribe. Stay crafty when traveling and seeing the sights of Willits, California. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all my viewers and subscribers. Bye now.